here we have a um, an o-ring jag what's called an o-ring jag now these are made in the US uh, by a company uh, TCS manufacturing um, and I recently started using these and I found it an amazing simple but amazing product and I want to do an experiment to see if it does in fact um, clean the barrel better than a conventional jag so what I've got here is a normal uh, normal jag they're both of the same thread onto the cleaning rod I've got an o-ring jag and a conventional jag and I have a, uh, a rifle barrel over here this has had about 10 shots put through it uh, it's a 308 now the projectiles it's been down at are uh, these uh, they're a, a brass alloy projectile and I've, I've used that because it leaves a um, like a gold color down through the barrel that um, hopefully will make it easier to see if the o-ring jag is uh, is cleaning any of it off or how is it cleaning the barrel so what what the idea of the experiment is we're going to clean half the barrel with the o-ring jag and the other half of the barrel with the conventional jag and then we're going to look at them with the bore camera to see if there's any difference or whether there's you know it doesn't make any difference so we'll just have a look and see what happens but to start with um, we can see that the barrel is looking dirty hasn't been cleaned or oiled and we're passing the camera down through the barrel and you can see like a gold uh, coppery color on the rifling there um, and this rifle was fired probably about five days ago and has been left uncleaned so you can see a little bit of corrosion around the edges so even just after a few shots you can see all uh, that it looks a bit ugly down there but that's typical of what you see after you've fired a rifle barrel okay some bits of it uh, look cleaner than others which is typical but all of it is looking um, pretty dirty now the gold color from the projectile is not even right down the barrel but there is a lot of dirt and crud in there and uh, traces of of the brass on the surface of the metal so we'll we'll see I think probably the uh, first half of the barrel towards the chamber end it definitely it's got more more um, deposit of, uh, of brass on the rifling and the muzzle end is a little bit cleaner I suppose that's probably because the uh, the rifling has sort of cut a groove in the, the projectile um, at the beginning as it pass, starts passing up the barrel okay so we're going to now do half the barrel with the o-ring jag and the other half with the conventional jag Okay, I'm going to clean the barrel with a bit of uh, TCS bore cleaning paste. Um, I could use as solvents and other things, but um, I just think for this experiment, the bore cleaning paste is probably the easiest thing to use because it won't sort of run down the barrel and contaminate the other half. So what I'm going to do is to um, do half of the barrel with each type of jag and if I put like an oil down there or a solvent it's probably going to run down the barrel and um, mess up my experiment whereas this will just be confined to the part of the barrel that I'm cleaning okay so we just wrap the patch around the o-rings as such like so and put that into the chamber now I've got a, a marker on here which takes us about halfway down the barrel so we push it down to reach that distance we pull it out 
I'm going to do it three times. Two. Three times. A lot of dirt appears to be on there. So we'll just repeat that looking from the other end. With the So we'll take this off. We'll replace that with a conventional jag here. We'll spike that over the end. Okay, let's just turn it around. <coughs> I can do it. From here, once, Oops. twice, three times. Now, when I'm pushing that in there, I can tell that the O rings are pushing that patch right hard into the rifling because of the amount of drag there is but nevertheless uh, both jags have have done substantial cleaning the o-ring jag as you can see it's got more dirt on it so we'll have a look again with the camera and see uh, if we can see a difference okay i've got the miniature bore camera here which i'm going to put back into the barrel now and we'll have a look and see if it um, how it's looking down there well certainly well we can still see some copper there on the rifling but it definitely looks a lot cleaner going in okay this is the section that was done with the o-ring jag now it's got copper you can see the copper is a lot shinier because the um, the paste is really uh, cleaned off all of the fouling now we get to the section that wasn't cleaned look at the difference in in the surface that's had the uh, o-ring pushed into it and this is is not being cleaned a little bit of a zone in the middle okay now we get to the bit that's been cleaned with the conventional jag and it's definitely cleaned it but i don't think it's as clean you can see um that there's little areas where i mean it's done not a bad job but it's not as good i mean there you're seeing the uh, copper fouling is still there but the overall uh, barrel it's got like uh, a lot of the carbon and the fouling is still there so uh, whereas we come back there's the unclean section. Wow, that's ugly. And there you can see, yeah, it looks it looks better. It looks better. Now there's still plenty of copper there needs to be removed, but overall the um, the surface finish of the barrel is much cleaner with the O-ring jag. And of course, when we look at the at the patches, right? It's a pretty big difference. Look at that's that's the one from the O-ring jag, and that's the one from the normal jag. So there's a lot more black carbon on this one. So yeah, I think it does make a difference. It's it's definite. Uh, there's no doubt that the O-ring jag is removing more. Now, if I was to now put that through, you know, 10 or 15 strokes in and out of the barrel, it would uh, would even do a better job and it probably needs some copper solvent in there as well. So that's the effect of the O-ring jag.